first audition of 2020 and it's nothing less than drum roll bum 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 a callback for a supporting role in a tv show Milo. hi Milo. Milo, how excited are we yes we're excited we're so excited yep what are you doing uh well I'm watching so basically like my role that i play in, in uh, this callback well first uh, supporting lead which is amazing but he's kind of um well, i'm watching friends and he's got kind of a character that's like joey he's he's overconfident he's he's really like he like what's a word for like he hopes a lot oh he's optimistic he's optimistic he yeah but he's also like charming right i guess yeah. that's how you're saying him because joey's charming joey's uh overconfident and all and everything and he's like, but he's also like, like a good person yeah, with a he's good like, oh, heart. This happened, this happened, and they're like, uh, don't you realize that this happened? And then he, and then he, it's, it's interesting. Yeah. So it's like sitcom style. Yeah. Is it now? You yeah. excited? Yeah. Like, yeah, I have two days to prepare. Uh huh. So starting with some research into your character. Yeah. Okay. Hi, this is Connor. Hello, Ira. And we're here for step two of the audition process, which is getting the exact same haircut he had for the audition. Okay, cool. So basically, um, can you confirm this for me? Because we're trying to figure out what his haircut was like. So when he came to you last time, was he telling you about having done his part on The Boys? Uh, yeah, Do you remember he, that? Yeah, he believed he still told me to be on the audition. No, did he tell you like that he had just filmed the day before, like he was on a film set? Yeah, he did, yeah. He did. Oh, okay, okay, awesome. So now we know what haircut. So basically that was, um, his audition was five days after he had his haircut with you. So he has to look exactly the same as last time, but with like five days of hair growth. Can you do that? So this is where you come every two months to get your haircut? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Last box barbershop. They're gonna eventually teach you how to shave your beard and uh, mustache, right? When he gets there, because I can't teach him that. You guys are gonna have to teach him that. <laughs> so, do you work with actors a lot? Yeah, I do a couple. Really? Yeah, yeah. Wow. No way. So you're like a hairdresser to the stars. There you go. <laughs> Maybe it's the most famous one? Yeah. <laughs> well, if you believe it and you work for it, you will achieve it. That's what I think. No, I'm scared. I'm not allowed. I'm scared. <laughs> so what we did is, uh, whatever you know, I just made it up. Uh, we just filmed it. We just filmed it. We did most of it. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Now that at the audition, they're going to be like, oh my God, your hair is two millimeters different. Yeah, I know. We just made it up on what we did. We'll, we'll just say it was Connor who did it. So it's uh, two other sides. Take for the size of the That looks awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be $300 for you. He's paying, yeah? He's paying, yeah? He's playing? He's going to pay. Oh, he's going to pay. Of course he's going to pay. Come on. Look at the. Did you see his expression? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll pay. Let's go. <laughs> the whole point of a callback, right? So if they've called you back, they already know that you can play the role. They already know who you are, yeah. and they already know you can you can uh, you can take on this role, and the energy is aligned. What a callback is often for is for them to test things like chemistry. So they might have you go in with someone else and see how you play off of them. Mm -hmm. They might have you go in just to see if you can handle the reality of actually getting the gig, which is like the the you know, the techniques involved, for example, with sitcom, with comedy, right? And and if you are, especially when we're casting younger actors, we need to make sure that they're kind of wise beyond their years so that they can handle um, advanced concepts, right? Now, the good news is you are very wise beyond your years, so you already have that. But what we want to get at here is we want to show that we understand how to break down a script and yeah. we understand to do, how to do that quickly. Because here's the reality, you're in callback time now. Right? Yeah. So if you get this role, and this is a pretty major role, they need to know that you can take on a season and, and get a script every week and be ready to, ready to go with it. Table reads, redirects, jump yeah. on set, right? So a callback is a really good opportunity to show that you can handle that, not by consciously saying, here's what I can do, because we never want to try to impress. 
What we want to do is we want to get really smart about things like comedic devices, things like the style of the piece, the relationship, all these different things, and then we want to surrender to that. Okay? Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's just going a little bit deeper. Yeah. That's all. Okay. You don't want to change anything about you or the energy you brought into your initial audition because they love it. Yeah. We just want to go a little bit deeper with this other scene. Make sense? Hey, I'm Tony from My Way Studio. I just had a chance to work with the wonderful Chris on his callback audition. We had a really great time. He really killed it. He did really, really great. And uh, I think really what's resonating with, with us today is just to, the, the value of letting it go and letting yourself play when you walk into that audition room. And he did amazing. Yeah. Hey, it's Chris. Uh, I'm right in front of the building I'm about to do my callback audition for, I'm sure you know. Uh, and um, yeah, I just for half an hour early, so I just wanted to take a few minutes to uh, explain how I prepare for callbacks and auditions. I'll start with auditions, so like first. Anyways, so basically, what I do for normally an audition is let's say the where is for a role named Jimmy, uh, and uh, and uh, it's a uh, it's an audition, right? And it's a casual wear, so I'd probably wear something like this or nice wear or something uh like like if my audition requires me uh to be like this super rich fancy kid i'll probably wear like polo or something right and i feel that i'm supposed to be like i don't need to get into the details i'm making it too long right? so i don't know i just prepare my lines i go in i do my thing you know and then if i get a call back uh then well how do you prepare your lines how do you do your thing I prepare my lines first. I do some research, like as you saw earlier, um, I was doing some research uh, uh, on the show Friends. I was watching Friends, you know. So you kind of look into the style uh, of the, yeah, like and the then, style of the movie yeah. or the series, what they're doing, and you'll yeah. you'll you'll watch a show, too. and you'll watch a show so. that's similar and find a character that yes. inspires you. Yes. Okay. Uh, and then I would start memorizing my lines, not getting too much acting, just memorizing them. After that, I would, uh, like, what's it called, uh, start actually doing the acting, so adding the little parts and the hand movements and all that stuff. And then after that, I would perfect it as best as I could, and i go to the audition. No, but wait, I think you left out another part. So after you prepare it one way, then right, uh, right, we do right. it like... So, Mm -hmm. Let's say I prepared a certain way, and that's my, but that's the best way I'm gonna do it. But we always do something random that I don't expect whatsoever, just to get me prepared for any direction they would do. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, so, for example, <laughs> like, like one we did earlier was uh, for me to ignore the reader, which yeah. kind of you know messed me up. I didn't forget my lines, but it was kind of hard, you know. Yeah, and normally they wouldn't ask you yeah, to ignore your, you to ignore yeah. your readers, but it's so. good to do something totally random and unexpected so if they ask you something so weird for callbacks obviously i have to look the same uh and well yeah i have to wear do i feel the same clothes you should yeah but i mean this this audition was two months ago so we don't really remember what you were wearing yeah. but normally you should wear the same thing yeah yeah anyways okay so then uh same routine uh, take I your... guess, yeah, but I wouldn't really do as much as research because it's, it's a callback. I already know what the character's like. But you have new lines. Yes, I do. I do. Wait, I'm going to get your headshot and resume because you have to bring your headshot and resume to a callback. As you can see, the package is like, mm -hmm. here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm taking a shot of this. Well, you just need one. That's two of them. Oh. Okay. So I'm you staple your headshot and resume to each other. Yes, look at my resume. Oh, yes, look at my resume. Very nice. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, okay. It's the same thing. I don't do as much as research, but I definitely uh, work much, much harder. I'm not saying that I don't work hard on my audition lines, but I work much harder for callback lines, and I practice more. And sometimes it's really, it's really short. Like, uh, how come you practice more for callbacks than for actual? Well, like how are you going to get a call back if you practice if you don't practice as much? I don't know why I said that. Can you just like take that out? <laughs> no, it's okay. I don't know why I said that. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't know, but um, 
but I know that if I get the call back, I get the chemistry read, if I get the chemistry read, I get the I got the table read, if I get the table read, I got the role. You know what I'm saying? Alright. Well, How are you feeling? It's just before your audition. Excited. Uh feeling good. Feeling good. Yeah. Do you ever feel nervous before auditions or callbacks? I mean so I went to this uh, acting place called IYA and you're gonna see a little club of that possibly. Um, but I and uh, it was a workshop two two days six hours each and it was a workshop for everyone mostly adults like I was the only kid there but anyways uh, and that really helped me a lot because so I used to I don't know why I don't I don't even remember getting nervous but sometimes my leg would shake in the middle of an audition mm -hmm. and getting nervous I guess and then after I went to that workshop I learned to surrender and not care what what they say unless they say you're booked <laughs> um and i i my leg never shook like that again okay that's cool but like uh would you book roles even though your leg was shaking yeah yeah i remember i remember uh i got the um the i think it was, i don't remember it was one of these i got one of them and my leg in the audition i was like shaking okay so like if if an actor is watching this and they're a little bit nervous at auditions surrender that, but it also doesn't mean that they're not going to book yeah. it just because it's not they're like, like they're going to go. Uh, his hair is weird. Nope. It, uh, oh, he's a uh, he's black hair color. Nope. He's <laughs> well, sometimes they do that. Sometimes like yeah, we don't want yeah, black hair color. We want like they orange. Won't, they won't be like as soon as you walk in. Oh, he has black hair. He's out. They could give you a chance. I'm I'm sure this happened many times where they want a Caucasian kid, for example, and then somebody else comes in and they're and they're. Asian and then they do amazing like you know what no we want this actor yeah it's probably happened many times for sure they change yeah. it they change the breakdown yeah. that's true all right cool cool all right so let's do this thing let's go in Woo! the let's hair is a brown it's dark brown what they wrote brown on yeah, your resume your hair is dark dark brown basically Can't... black look at this what how I oh that's true I'm just gonna stare at this for a moment. I don't think it's such a big deal. I mean, you do have brown hair, that's true. Uh, dude, chill. It's not that important. Dun, dun, dun. This is what he looks like when he's frustrated. <laughs> Alright, cool. Let's go? Yeah. Alright. How do you go? My opinion, it went really, really well. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You feel good? Very. What are you going to do now? I'm going to go home. I'm going to chill. I'm going to do what I always do. This is? This is a tip for not having stress, okay? After you do a callback or an audition, whatever, completely forget about it. Right up until you get the callback, then start thinking about it. Once you've done the callback, forget about it. Right. You got the chemistry read? Think about it as much as possible. You, you've done the chemistry read? Completely forget about it. Now I'm going to go home, chill on my computer, and forget about it. Awesome. That's it. Cool.